everyone thanks so much for coming through to this video uh we're going to paint a really gorgeous as you can see from the picture um landscape of some trees in the background now these are actually trees that are in cornwall in england very well known as the nearly there trees or the nearly home trees um so yeah what you need, you'll need your 12 by 12 canvas, which comes as part of the painting kit, which well, I will make sure is linked below. Um, in there, you'll have some ultramarine blue, some medium yellow, some lemon yellow, white and black. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use any other colours yet. I haven't decided, um, but I might possibly. So we'll see how we go. I tend to just do these just um, without any practising, just so you can see my thoughts and processes as I go along because that's just as much learning as trying to get it perfect which we don't want to do I'm just going to wet the canvas a little bit which you don't have to do it just helps when you're putting that first layer on to get it moving around okay so you have um, a large flat brush in your pack if you buy the painting kit you have a smaller flat brush you have a couple of rounds and you have, sorry, a couple of rounds and you have a fine, finer detail brush and you have an angled brush. OK, so you'll get that in the pack if you buy the pack. If not, they will be the brushes I'll be using. I may not use them all, um, but I may. Who knows? Let's get started. So I'm going to make sure my brush is wet. And I'm going to mix up some of the ultramarine blue with the white. Now, what I like to do is to use my uh, paint palette knife. So I will use that to mix. So um, that doesn't come in the pack, uh, in the kit. It's difficult to buy them um, single. They usually come in packs, so I couldn't get hold of them. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in my kits or my lessons, please do like, subscribe, share comment follow all those things so i'm just gonna push away some of that blue okay and then i'm literally just gonna add a tiny tiny well not tiny i'm gonna add quite a lot <laughs> of white because what we want is a very light color blue in the sky and ultramarine is the best color for that it's kind of um got a purpley edge to it so what we can also do is mix on the canvas as we go so we don't need to worry too much I'm not really going to mix more than that and we're just going to go ahead and I think we're going to do two-thirds of sky um, we're going to do the trees quite low down so we're just putting on this lovely light blue Make sure you've got enough water on your brush if it's not wet enough the paint won't um, go into the grooves of the canvas the tooth of the canvas very easily so make sure you've got a lot of paint on your brush okay a lot of paint a lot of paint and a lot of water so it doesn't matter if you're getting different kind of hues of blue coming out different shades of the blue it's fine this is just the first layer of colour. We can change it as we go. Grab some more of that white. So if you are uh, a beginner, I would suggest you watch the whole thing through so that you know what's coming um, and then start, start with your kit with your if you're using your own resources and then start once you know what's coming you'll know then you'll have an idea of what the next steps are my website is heartanddesign.org.uk heart with no e and all of my art products are on there as well as the free principles um, which i'm going to work on this week because i'm a bit out of date and need to put some new ones on um, and also um, the actual painting kits. So we're just coming down now into that bottom section. So I want to just kind of start to lighten it up a bit more. I think I am as well. Just going to put a dab of that pink there. You might make it like a, a sunset, a slight sunset at that bottom bit. 
get some pink in there that's nice and we'll get that pink going up into the blue so we need a bit more we don't need much see I'm just picking up some of that pink so when I do the kit I'll make sure you've just got a little bit of that pink as well and then you can also do a little bit of that pink sunset there there that's lovely okay don't forget we're going to be doing another layer I'm just getting all the paint off my brush we will be doing another layer so um, we can come in and create our clouds and everything afterwards okay also I do have two different jars of water I have one to get the bulk of the paint off and then I have the other one to literally clean it which will leave it without any color on so now we're going to go for some green and I do like to use um, mid yellow with some ultramarine and that creates what I think is a nice natural green now from that we can add black or white to change the value of that green so we can have so much lighter greens so we can also add some of the lemon yellow to really yellow it up and make it that very very bright yellowy green which we may do in patches I think that's about right but I'm definitely haven't got enough so I'm coming in with some more let's get enough mixed up I probably still haven't got enough but we're at about the right shade of green that I want there it's a nice natural looking green so I'm going to get some water um, I'm just going to wet the canvas a bit to help me get the paint on because when you when you get the canvases they are a bit dry to start with and you don't want it swimming with water because you'll water the paint down too much but a nice little spread of water does help I'm just going to go over there as well okay so now I'm just going to come in with that green it's actually more yellow even I wanted but that's fine for a background colour for now I think maybe I have put a bit too much water down but it's fine because we're only doing our first layer we just want to cover that canvas with some kind of colour it's going on more like a watercolour because I put too much water down and then I had lots of water on my brush as well which was a bit much for the paint which is fine now I'm just going to do some sweepy motions like that it doesn't matter if we get some of the lines in there now I am going to try and just come up and meet the pink okay now there is a part of these trees where actually the field comes up and then down and sweeps like that it just comes up just gradually it's not flat like the sea okay so it's just that kind of slight change in the way the land lies so I'm just going to add that in quickly and then we'll just come down and we're going to dry everything that we've got there.
okay we're pretty much there <clears throat> excuse the noise back there it's um it's an air pressure pump i have an automatic flatbed press uh, it used to be manual, but it was too much hard work for me. Right, so we're going to come and create some more of this green. That will go off in a minute, by the way. We need to create some more of this green. And just, I'm just going to come in and kind of build up by sweeping along with our large flat brush. We're going to kind of just build in some shape and definition. Um, some shadows we don't want the back here to be too neat because well it's fields isn't it and um, it's not like the sea where it would be completely flat in the background and then we're going to come down and there's a little path that kind of comes down this way and we're just drawing it in just gently for now okay doesn't need to be perfect for the minute we're using the bigger brush because we can get um, some really good big marks in just to generally outlay <clears throat> what we're going to paint in. Okay, so we're going in and we're being really what's called loose. If you are a complete beginner, we call it loose. Um, doesn't really look like anything except a few shapes here and there. I'm going to keep making up that colour. Loving the darker colour for the minute. We really need that in now. Uh, now, these bushes here in the foreground and the trees, they are actually going to be coming up into the sky here. And again, I'm just doing it really loosely. Don't be afraid. We're just putting these big shapes down. Okay. Um, and they look like nothing at the moment. Um, and that's perfectly okay. That's exactly how I want it to look. <laughs> So that's fine and um, we want some coming up here as well good so hopefully even though it's very loose strokes it is starting to look a bit like there's something in the foreground yeah that's all we need to be doing that's why we're using the big brush basically the bigger your brush is <clears throat> the looser your strokes can be um i actually want to come in and have a bit of a darker green now and I'm going to put in some darker, and I'm just using the edge of that big brush. I love to use the bigger brushes and just get some real loose shapes in to begin with. And then we have here, might be too wet. If it's too wet, it will just be lifting the paint off. Here, it will be darker because we've got, yeah, it's too wet. We'll just put a bit down. It's going to be darker because that's where the trees are going to be when we put them in uh, we're going to go back over the sky first get another layer of that in um just going to come in with this darker green down here and try and create this little pathway again we're keeping it really loose let's get some dark shapes in amongst here we will come over this eventually and we will make it look more like what it is rather than it just being big blobs of paint so don't worry about that sorry just had to pause the video a bit there um so i'm just coming in again with like i said some of the darker color as well come up to the edges make sure these edges are also filled in like so. Right, now I'm going to clean my brush. Now the next thing we're going to do is to go back over the sky. So still a nice wet brush, not, not too wet. I'm going to get some of this and some white. Make some more blue up. And just go over the sky and get it exactly how we want it. Oops, I've got some green in there. It's still on the brush. We don't want that. So I'm going to get all that off. Okay. 
and we're going to come in and finish our sky. Oops, <laughs> I've still got some green there. It's all right, I'll get that out in a minute. Accidents happen, which it's important that you see them happen. I'm making the sky lighter because I wasn't really happy with that darker blue. I wanted it much lighter than it was. So we're just continuing to add the lighter blue. So I'm just going to let that green bit dry and then I'll go back over it. And I'm quite liking, actually, there's a little bit of the darker blue in the sky there, which is quite nice. I do like that. Oops. I've already got my paint out today. Normally I have my palette laid out for you with all the main colours. You don't really need any other colours to colour mix. Um, there's all those colours out there and you just don't need to buy all of them. You just need that specific eight, really. And maybe like an added extra is that <clears throat> burnt sienna. Okay. Happy with that. Let's make sure there's no gaps there. And what I'm going to do now is actually come in with some of that lighter pink again in the sky and make sure I've got all the colour out this time we're going in for some magenta there we go you don't want it to be too pink but certainly a nice kind of hint of pink yeah loving that a bit pinky a bit, a bit more saturated in colour this time mainly because I have added more pink but also because um we've already gone over the board once as well and it's soaked a lot of that painting so i'm just going to come over with a white again just to blend it in and it doesn't need to be like a straight line so i'm going to come up and just wisp it in let's get some wisps of paint up there okay there we go and Just keep going up until you've got it all off your brush and uh, yeah I'm happy with that let's just dry this top bit make sure we've got rid of all that green So we'll come on and I think we'll do that later. We'll let it dry naturally a little bit more. Right. So now we're going to change brushes and we're going to come in, I think, and use the angle brush for a little bit. I want to make, oh, there's no water on the brush. I want to make up some more of that green, a nice darker version. And I'm also going to add a bit of black to it because I want a really dark version can you see that adding that little bit of black has really darkened it up so it's another little tip for you but only a tiny bit of black because if you try to do any more than that okay so I'm wanting to just put some of that dark right on the edges and I'm just coming in with my my brush and I'm gently just kind of dabbing with the end because I do want those to be a bit darker and then we're going to kind of 
um, line this path that I think, is it? Yes, it is done. Make sure you've got enough on the very end of your brush because that's the bit you're using most. And we're just going to come in and create that little dark line, which shows that there is a little path here. We're just dabbing that edge down and it gives us that feeling of a path that's got um, hedgerows. Okay, so now I need to get that really nice and clean. And I think we'll go back to a flat brush, but this time it's the smaller one because we need to really get in now and do the fields. Now, I can't remember if that came out how I wanted it. It's like a too much blue. That's it. I want a kind of really yellowy green. And yellow, the lemon yellow, gives us this lovely kind of pale green, which can look really nice in fields. So we're just going along and what I'm doing with a flat edge brush is I'm going over this field because it's already quite yellow underneath. And then this will just, and I'm really just patching it in because remember this is nature and it's not perfect. I'm just coming over to give this field another, another layer of colour. It's really important to build up the layers when you're painting with acrylics and it gives the it gives the painting depth and it gives it, although we're not going for realism, I like painty, painty paintings, I want them to look like paintings. Um, we still want it to look like what it's supposed to be. So yeah, if you're watching this guys, please do like, subscribe, comment, share, head over to my website. You can find the painting kits there. And um, yeah. You can come and paint along with me. There's lots to choose from and I'm building it up all the time. Yeah, I like that field, that colour. That's great. And I'm actually going to go over it with even more of that lemony yellow colour. And I'm going to keep going, layering that up because I really do like it. And I absolutely love to just use, like I said, nice big strokes to layer up my paintings. We've got all the different shades of green in there now and it looks lovely. But it is a different colour to this one. Now this one is definitely um, also lighter, but so I'm going to get some white this time. But it's more of that darker grey with a bit of white in. So I'm going to come in and make sure we're blending this into where that shadow is. So this is the shadow where the trees are. And so, again, just be nice and loose and rough with it. it it's, it's not real. It's not flat. It's real life. So it's all over the place. Nature is all over the place. So we want to kind of portray that. And we're just going to keep... At the moment, I've got hardly any on my brush, which is a big point. And you can just kind of scumble it in. Right, so then we're going to come across and blend that in by just pushing the brush over. Okay, so we've got our two different colours of fields now. We've got our little pathway going down. We've got the four ground trees, which we're not going to worry about for now. And we're going to come in with this little bit of dark green here and continue to kind of build that shadow area up for us to put the trees onto. Okay go and we're blending that in by just pushing it into the rest of the area there so now we're going to give it a dry Okay, so um, 
I think my camera died so I just need to explain what I did in that meantime so um, as an angle brush use the angle brush getting a little bit of green paint on your brush and only on the edge and then we just do the lines up here and then we get the same green and we just go like that and that's literally all I'm doing just dabbing it in to create like the the trees all joining together because that's what these specific trees do then I lightened it up just added a little bit more yellow then I added a bit of white and then I did the top and that was it then what I've done is I've gone into the pink and the white and I've just added some of that highlight of pink onto the hills okay that's just something I want to do you don't have to and then I use the green as well with the same brush and all I've done is just to kind of bind the picture together I've just zigzagged down over the fields some of the same paint of green that I had in the trees and that's literally all I did during what I think was my phone dying now I've got some black paint here <clears throat> and I've used my round brush and I've just dabbed black in because what we're going to do is bring the trees out in the foreground very gradually using varying values of the green and it's still the ultramarine and the medium yellow okay so now we're coming over and what we're doing is just dabbing in um, different shapes scribbling in almost of of green and it's still going to be quite dark okay and that's fine because that actually brings out the light of the sky there in our in our little sunset okay and yeah just dabbing we're just dabbing that green in just playing around with that green <laughs> we will be coming in with some much lighter green now you can see how that's helping push forward the green that I've just laid down because the black's there if I didn't have the black there you'd, you wouldn't even see that green and wait till you put we put the lighter highlights on you'll really see how it pops I'm just going to dab some green in like that like wispy bits I'll do that as well when we go and do the much lighter highlighted bits and we are just scribbling it in because it is nature and as I've said before and you'll see in all my videos nature is not even and <laughs> not perfectly in straight lines and we need to remember that's go over that there it's a bit too much of that light color popping through okay I'm going to make some more of that green this time we're going to lighten it up just a bit and we're going to keep going in and lightening it up bit by bit we're just going to put little scribbles in try not to go over too much of the dark because we need that there and um, it helps to create that depth that I've been talking about but we're just scribbling it in just use the end put your at the end of your brush in your hand and we're just wiggling it around okay there we go I'm going to go all the way over and now because we have done that really dark color in the background it starts to help us to lighten up the picture with our lighter layers there's something for those lighter layers to be jumping out from whereas if we didn't have that then we wouldn't be able to do that all right so that shade's nearly all gone so we'll make some more up but this time we'll go lighter again so it's the same green but we're just using different values we're either adding black to darken or adding white to lighten but this time we want to go quite a bit lighter than what we had that should do it yeah lovely so now we're just literally again just blobbing that in wherever we want making patterns 
and just kind of trying to bring it to life okay that's it that's basically all it is I'm coming out a bit here wisping at the top I'm not sure I wanted to have that big blob of green there I'm gonna have to come back with some dark with that but don't worry too much as I say, this is nature, and nature is all over the place. Okay. There's going to be bits where it's lighter, and there's going to be where the light's hitting it, and there's going to be bits where it's darker underneath, because um, yeah, but that's where the shadow is, and that's fine. So we're just, it is literally, that's all we're doing, and it's creating these um, kind of pockets of, lights where the sun's hitting them now we're going to come in really light so we're going to use the same color that's already there but we're just going to add more white okay and we're only just going to come in and dab that around a little bit okay we don't want too much of that light because it will lose the effect if you've got it everywhere so we're just going to come in and just Make some little marks where the light's hitting it and just put it wherever you want it. Okay, don't be too fussy or too worried about it. Just do it as you want to. And you also don't have to put too much of it on. Okay. Just, just like that, just dabbing it round wherever you want it to be. And if you get some bits that you don't quite like, just you can use your finger. Don't forget your fingers, they're always there and great to use in your artwork. Putting some in the trees as well, why not? Let's put some at the top of the trees. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much done. Um, what I do want to do is just go over the trees in the background with my angled brush. We need some of the dark green, but we don't need much. So I'm just taking that and I'm taking some of that black and putting that in again. So we're making a dark green, a very dark green. And then again, we just want to make sure the paint's on the edge of there. And we're just going to come on and just make sure we've got the lines we want and they're not tra too translucent, not too see-through. Yeah, whereas with one stroke that we'd already done, it would have been a bit see-through. So we're going to pick up some more of that dark and just make sure we've got the trees exactly how we want them. I I'm happy with that. And we really don't need to do much more than that, but what I think would be really nice is if we just had some flowers down the bo bottom and just made it prettier, shall we say? So let's throw a little bit of colour in, shall we? Just a little bit. It'll be difficult because the green's very dark, so if we lighten it up a bit, let's just go in there and put some pink in. And it just will give the idea that there's a few little flowers here in the foreground <laughs> a bit too light there just dab it in anywhere again it's just to kind of bring another it's almost like bringing the sky into the foreground a little bit um it's good to have colors that you have in one area in all areas what it kind of does is just um brings the picture together a bit we are literally just dabbing it round wherever you want to put it. Okay. Lovely. And then I'm going to do the same but with the yellow. So we're just going to whiten up the yellow a little bit and then just dab it round. Almost like there's little patches of yellow flowers and they could even be up the top there a little bit. 
Yeah, what are you doing? Mm. Wherever you think you'd like to put them, really. That's the joy of this painting. It's it's really so loose and, and so much fun and you can just put whatever bits wherever you want. Okay. I'm not going to put too much up here because that's more like bushes, trees in the background, whereas the flowers are down here. So what I might do is use my smaller round and we'll make some more of... Oh, not enough water on it. Let's get some ultramarine from out of here. It's a bit watery now. Let's get our green that we had. But now I'm going to make some smaller petals with that green and lighter using the smaller round. Might actually put some more yellow in that. It needs to be brighter. So to brighten it up, we'll make it more yellowy. That's better. Now we can just come in and do really small marks to represent leaf shapes. Okay, so it's um it's still very loose. We're still just creating a suggestion of leaves um, but because they're smaller we, it's almost like a bit more detail go over that bit there and it will be lighter as we go further up because the sun is hitting that but it's not hitting down here if we just come in with some yellow straight away and just mix that in Sometimes you can do that, just go it, go for it, go and mix the colours in <clears throat> <clears throat> on the actual canvas. It really does, does help. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, I mean, you're seeing the full process here. I mean, uh, uh, literally, as I would do it as an artist, just so now you can see these are almost like leaf marks, but. Um, just kind of the sun's hitting them and they're poking through but we've got that lovely dark background that we can really come on top of now and emphasize so i'm gonna do a bit more of that here i feel as though it needs to come out this way a bit more that's nice yeah i'm happy with that but happy with the shape of that some dark in as well. I mean, trees do tend to poke out, so just get it poking out a bit. Okay. Over here, we might just put a little bit more light on the top. And the same coming down here. Let's do a little something with this little track and lighten up the middle part of it a bit. Only a bit because we really want to keep the, the dark, the fact that it's a path in there. So we're only going to do it a little bit. Another colour we could bring in is the brown colour. Okay, so, um, sorry that was my son just leaving the house, apparently quietly, <laughs> <clears throat> not. Um, so now I'm, I'm just really adding bits as and where I see fit and just adding some light bits here. Um, still got to keep the underneath dark, I don't want to change that at all. We could actually go a little bit darker going to add some of that green and the black and just this bit here will be, don't want it to be totally black but 
yeah that's nice that's really helped to make it dark but what we'll do is, is also dabble some in the bottom of the trees there we go that's helped with that and yeah and that's it really isn't it just coming in with some dark petal shapes here whoops it was dark and then i went in the light green So I'm at the point now where I, I really am just playing around with it um, and just having a bit of fun. Just adding in some little petal shapes, even though they're black down here, it's fine. Getting that dark back again down there. I think we're done. I think I'm happy with it. I'm just going to come. I keep saying that, don't I? And then, well, hang on a minute. I'm not quite done. Um, back with my big brush. And I'm just going to sweep over here where that green was. And it doesn't matter that it's a slightly different blue. We've just got to push it across because what it does anyway is create um, like the, the different shades of blue in the sky anyway. So I'm coming down here with a lighter blue and then I'm going to push that in as well and create just some almost like I think the word is striations, <laughs> cloud patterns. Yeah, so we just do that and it gives the impression of clouds. Now you can have stopped at this point, yeah. I'm just adding on these little extra bits you don't have to do. And that just gives the feeling, I don't know if you could even see me doing it then. Um, it just gives the feeling of like these clouds and the sky coming down into the sunset so um hopefully you enjoyed that um as i say the kit is below you get all the paints that you need and obviously all the instructions are given in this video so um see you again in the next one thank you bye